What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Voice for the Corner. Hope you're all well, hope you're all safe. Here I am in London town with the Shard in the background. Um, the big fight, Saturday night, Alexander Usyk versus Daniel Dubois. Now I'm gonna give my opinion on the controversy and how I see it and the rules of boxing. Firstly, I had 58 professional fights as well as I don't know how many amateur fights and that was an illegal blow 100%. Anybody that was trying to sugarcoat that and people try to sugarcoat it on the night, it was an illegal blow. And again, people kept talking about around the navel. That's basically the belly button. I didn't even know what that meant. So that's the belly button. But every fighter, go back, look at images in boxing. Look at the images of uh, fighter shorts. Everybody, uh, belt line sits above the belly button or around the belly button, 100%. So anything below that is low. That's the top and bottom of it. So for me, um, the biggest thing which I picked up from Saturday night after the low blow um, showed Alexander Usyk still. Um, would he have got up if the referee started counting? In my opinion, I believe he would have. But if my dad had balls, it'd be my granddad. That's the top and bottom of it. So for me, um, the stoppage there in that fight, people don't talk that much about. But if you feel that you had hurt him with that body shot and it really was a body shot, it was very strange how Daniel DeBar went down. Very, very similar to the Joe Joyce situation and got counted out. So for me, I believe that he struggles mentally once it gets into them later rounds. So will we see him come back and uh, try and win a world title again? Who knows? But do I really want to see Alexander Usyk versus Daniel Dubai again? I'm not really interested in that fight. I think it's one-way traffic again. And let's not forget, it weren't no split decision or a very close fight. He got knocked out. That's the top and bottom of it. So, listen, it was a gallant performance while he was there. But Alexander Usyk does what he always does and uh, always finds a way to win. Let's see Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury. People will be sitting there crying today if that was a stoppage because we'll be seeing Daniel Dubar versus Tyson Fury. Everybody wants to see Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury next. Let me know what you think. Please put your comments below. Again, go back and have a look at images on all these fighters, Schultz, Chris Eubank, you know, Nigel Benn, you know, even down to fighters like myself. We all try and cover up as much as we can and try and get as much of an advantage as we can. Look at Tyson Fury, Schultz. You know, at the end of the day, We'll try and get away with what we can get away with. But 100%, that was a low blow. Nice one, everyone. Let me know what you all think. Please put your comments below.